it's Mr. O'Brien again, and this is part two of your topic for bioenergetics um, note packet. Now, in this section, we're going to describe the fundamental roles of plastid, or another name for plastid are chloroplast, and mitochondria and energy transformation. So let's kind of just first briefly talk about our two major molecules. Now, the first one we have, or I should say organelles, the first one we have is mitochondria. Now, mitochondria is actually found in both plants and, more recognizably, animals. So, mitochondria is where cellular respiration occurs. It's where the majority of our ATP is produced. So, again, a lot of people just think that um, mitochondria are only in animal cells, but plants also need ATP in order to function. Now, the other one we're going to talk about over here are chloroplast. Now, the chloroplast is only found in plant cells. And notice that chloroplast is green. Now, chloroplast actually has a pigment within it called chlorophyll. And chlorophyll is what absorbs the light. Now, when we're talking about absorbing light, it actually absorbs everything except for green. And green is actually bounced back into your eye. So those are going to be the two organelles we are going to be talking about here. Now, the first one is obviously chloroplast. Now, chloroplast is an organelle where photosynthesis occurs in plants. And it, again, contains this pigment called chlorophyll. Now, chlorophyll traps the energy from the sun. And we can see these chloroplasts located inside of these plants, these little green um, nodules here. Now, chloroplast converts light energy into chemical energy. And when we're referring to um, light energy, light energy actually comes from the sun. And the sun is where um, pretty much, oh, I put some there. The sun is where all of our energy from all ecosystems come from. And what happens is during this chemical reaction, we're actually going to convert this into chemical energy. Now, the chemical that we're going to talk about that it gets converted to is glucose. So glucose is a sugar, and it is needed in order for cellular respiration to occur a little bit later. Now, chloroplast kind of looks like this right here, almost like a little like bean. But inside of it, you can see all these different stacks. So when we have this entire stack right here, one entire stack of I like to call pancakes is what's known as a granum. Now inside one tiny pancake, so one of these things is our thylakoid. And inside of each one of these thylakoids in that stack is where the light dependent reaction of photosynthesis occurs. Now, we also have in this gray right here, this is stroma, the liquid that surrounds, or the syrup that goes over grandma's pancakes. This is where the Calvin cycle occurs and actually where glucose is being produced inside of these chloroplasts. So the structure of chloroplast has evolved and adapted to perform photosynthesis in plant cells and even some protists. The stacks of thylakoids, what they do is they increase surface area and when the increased surface area creates more places for photosynthesis to occur. Now, the other organelle we want to talk about is the mitochondria. Now, the mitochondria is the site of cellular respiration. So, in other words, cellular respiration, what we're referring to here is we're making ATP. So, this is the place of ATP phosphorylation. In other words, where ADP is converted into ATP. Now, I don't like to use this phrase, but it's kind of a good way to remember it. Now, the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Again, a lot of people just remember, ah, oh, powerhouse of the cell, but what does that really mean? It means that we are creating energy here. And that energy is in the form of ATP. So again, 
mitochondria cytocellular respiration. The mitochondria has these folded inner membranes here. You see all these little folds? Those folds are also responsible for increasing surface area for the reaction of cellular respiration to make that molecule of ATP. So in this case, we're converting chemical energy into more chemical energy. And where we're talking about that, the first chemical energy we have would be, or I'm sorry, uh, chemical energy we have is glucose. So we're converting glucose during cellular respiration into our high energy molecule of ATP. And that's what we're referring to as our chemical to chemical um, conversion here. So the structure of the mitochondria with all of these inner folds. So these inner folds are called cristae. And what they do is these uh, membranes are where um, ATP phosphorylation actually occurs inside of the mitochondria. So what we're doing is we're increasing surface area because of these folds on the inside. The more surface area, the more ATP that's going to be produced. Now remember, mitochondria are found in both plant and animal cells. So the cristae are these inner folds. We have this inner membrane, this double membrane structure here that we're gonna see. So hopefully this kind of clears up the responsibility of the chloroplast and the mitochondria, two main organelles inside of the cell. So again, this is part two. This is Mr. O'Brien, and hopefully this helps you out.